Welcome to Bulwark, a game about chaotic creativity. No conventional controls, one button to paint the landscape, another to move about. And while you paint towers and walls, people will start to make the world come alive. Keep building, that's the trick. This can be confusing at first, overwhelming even. But don't worry, there's also no mistakes. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting, so don't be afraid and go wild. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree, Dunkel. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left. In order to resettle, in peace, away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built, and from our hands the future will be wrought. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. First, Connect this outpost to the woodmill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the woodmill. This is your woodmill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it.
Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Good work. The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower, in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further. can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the work output. worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies 
and seek out iron ore. We have reached a milestone in population, aligning with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Ursi. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. I will only carry iron and workers for our industries. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. With 
iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible.
have no available commanders on your roster. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warboat commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. You will find no finer stable, not since the heyday of the War of the Tree. In service to our people, my retinue of falconeers is eager to settle in and get their war birds airborne. Do not delay. Rest assured, friend, my war birds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sarkunter and Northern Grey Knife traits. War birds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. walkway going across the front of a harbor will obstruct ships. Make sure it connects to the rear side.
Something on the horizon. Hello there. Word has it that you have a space for me and my crew. We'll make a fine addition to your workforce. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Helping our settlement grow and prosper. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing. My ship only carries wood and workers. My ship carries wood. I'll ferry your workers anywhere, if you'll let me. Traffic, but my ship carries wood. Things are good. There's lots of traffic, but I will. Things are good. The iron eye transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. There's lots of traffic, but I will con Things are good. There's lots of traffic, but I will continue. The iron eye transport is helping our The iron eye transport is helping our settlement. There's lots of traffic, but I will Things are good. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. Brings me joy to see all There's lots of traffic, but I will continue to carry my pa I'll ferry your workers anywhere. My ship only carries wood and workers. The iron eye transport. It brings me joy. My ship only carries wood and workers. A new home. Seeing it prosper fills me with. Thank you. 
The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. mishaps in my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. <sighs> this is Mark II. Whatever stories you might have heard, Shoddy Manzarone was to blame. I'm a gossip, nothing more. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in the A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. 
Pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. Refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. alliances. My group and I have been on the run for so long, we seek refuge and will submit to your service. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influence is the balance of power for your settlement.
Seems I have finally found that rumored safe haven, and what a sorry sight. Where are your gunships, your corvettes? Where is your fleet? Truly, my services are urgently needed. This here is an ironclad steam rake. Not many of these around anymore. And she is for hire. We seek a new patron, new waters to guard, and new harbor for repairs and restocking. What say ye? You have enrolled an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. There is word amongst free house traders that you offer respite for weary captains. Will you have me and my ship? You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. I will only carry iron. The iron I transport brings me joy to see ice. I will carry stone and workers only. A new home. Seeing it prosper, my ship only... The iron I transport is out. I will only carry iron and workers. My ship, I will carry... My ship carries... I'll ferry all. Any pirate would... I'll transport anything you wish me to. Brings an improvement. This route is profitable. I'll ferry your workers anywhere. Any pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will... This route is acceptable. We'll patrol...
A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. A ship. You have enrolled an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. This meager holding was always a last resort. We need a more permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influences the balance of power for your settlement.
We are but humble refugees, many from the great imperial houses. Please demolish this paltry holding, and we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. We are but humble refugees. Buildings on the horizon. walkway going across the front of a harbour will obstruct ships. Make sure it connects to the rear side. used to have surveyors, explorers, wreck divers and more, all funded to keep trade going and expand both Freehouse and Imperium settlements. But alas, much has been lost. Perhaps you can employ some guild surveyors.
we have reached a milestone in our population, aligning with the Imperial remnant. This will attract new Imperial captains and commanders to our banner. Installing these people will increase our alignment to the Imperial remnant further. We have reports of something strange ahead. A resource colony ahead. This wood mill and all of its C3 production are for the Banalus, and they say it's under our protection. 
Raid before trade? But we lost some good fighters. How about you send over some workers to the trade arbor, and we can send some wood in exchange? A trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Be sure to build a connecting harbor. Assigning the right captains that will provide the required outgoing and exchanged incoming resources. carry iron and workers for our industries. I will carry stone and workers only. My ship only carries wood and workers. A new home. Seeing it prosper fills me with... I'll ferry your workers anywhere. I serve to protect our people. My ship stands in good order. We are prospering. But this prosperity is attracting criminals wishing to target our trade routes. We need to start taking our trade route security seriously. Trade routes that are long, resource rich, or run past unaligned faction settlements are at increasing risk of being raided. Buildings on the horizon. The mercenary company Mongres Los Sons bids you welcome. This is a dangerous place, and sometimes the help of an outsider is required for those tasks. Might I recommend my company?
This command tower is missing access to workers. My mongrel brothers are working hard for my mercenaries ride the Ormir Drake. The parting gifts of our elders before they sold us to the Imperium. Now we work for coin, and today that is you. forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. Ruffians are all that is left in this world. May the water take their splinters. Grant me safety, and I will grant you my ship. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. A new home. Seeing it prosper fills me with pride. Anything but people. Keep that rabble away from me. This route will do. It's nice and quiet. I appreciate you finding a place for me. <laughs> 